Last but not least, to round out our service academy portion, I want to talk to you about the United States Merchant Marine Academy. Yeah. Pretty good school. I like it a lot. Um, you know, I, I work there, so I guess I guess I would. Um, nonetheless, we are one of the we're one of the five federal service academies. We're known as America's best kept secret. From a military academy, for a military academy, the secret is that we give you the opportunity of going into any branch of service upon graduation. So the Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, Marine Corps, the Navy, the National Guard, the Air National Guard, and even the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. All right, so if you're interested in flying to the eyes of hurricanes, seeing how fast the polar ice caps are melting, or what the fish are doing out there in the ocean, every branch of service is afforded to you uh, through the United States Merchant Marine Academy and even NOAA if you're interested in working and serving under the National uh, Weather Service. So unlike our counterparts, that are more specific to that individual branch of service, we at the Merchant Marine Academy give you the opportunity of choosing the branch of service that you feel is best for you. So you get a chance to engage and learn about each branch, and then upon graduation, you'll choose what you want to do. But the big catch is that we are not mandating that you go active duty, okay? Upon graduation, you will serve in the military, but you don't have to serve active duty. You can be serve in a, in a reserve capacity. Why? That's because we want you to serve as Merchant Marine. Now what is Merchant Marine or Merchant Mariner? What exactly does that mean? Merchant stands for supplier of goods. You encounter them when you go shopping. Marine, not to be confused, Marine Corps. Stands for Shipping, Nautical, Maritime, Navigation. Marine Biology, all right? And what is a Mariner? Mariners are explorers of seas. So upon graduation, even if you come to King's Point thinking you want to become an Army Ranger or jump out of hel a helicopter or airplane, you become a Navy SEAL, all those things King's Pointers have gone on to do, all right, you're still going to be an emerging mariner during your time with us. You're going to be a supplier of goods that explore the seas. What we do is we deliver everything from the shoes on your feet, the mattress you sleep, the food that you eat, to the gold fronts, grills, braces, and fillings that some of your family members eat. We deliver, all right, your iPod, cell phone, telephone, television, DVDs, and CDs. Xbox, PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii, your computer, monitor, mouse, mouse pad, keyboard, automobile, gasoline, satellite dish, TiVo, converter box, GPS, we deliver it all. All right? Everything you ever asked for for Christmas, everything you ever got for your birthday, Merchant Marine brought it to you. Okay? We're also the supply line of our own, our own forces. We deliver their weapons, bombs, bridges, tanks, oil, ammunition, their meals, their food, their beverage of choice. So without the Merchant Mariners, our troops, like Brigadier General Creer, would not be able to get his job done wherever he may have been overseas and everyone else that serves in our armed forces. So we are the delivery men, to make a long story short. The maritime industry is very vast. It goes from the cruise industry to people going up and down the Mississippi River carrying catfish and, and tugs and barges and all that sort of thing. So it's a very, very vast industry. So upon graduation, we would like for you to become a Merchant Mariner. We would like for you to serve in that capacity, but you do have a choice, remember. Okay, uh, you're guaranteed a job. We're the only college in the country that can guarantee you a job in the private sector, with the private sector being the maritime industry. You're not only guaranteed a job, you're looking at your starting base and salary being between fifty-five to ninety thousand dollars. And many of our students, particularly the engineers, make well over one hundred thousand dollars right outside of school. There's a young man. I'll give you one example that graduated uh, last year. Uh, he's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Very close with him. We worked out every morning. He walked out with a one hundred forty-five thousand dollars job sailing aboard military sealant command ships as an engineer, where he's transporting goods and services all throughout the world on these vessels as an engineer. So he's serving his country as a civilian, working as a civilian on a military sealant command ship, and he's also a naval reservist. So you have a lot of choices, you have a lot of options. Now he very well, very well one day, he may choose to go active duty Navy. So he you know, was able to put a little bit of money away, making 145 grand, that's not including overtime pay, put a little money away, invest it wisely, and then maybe he decides that he wants to do something more for his country, and he activates and go, uh, goes active duty Navy or active duty Marine Corps, which is over. So there's a lot of options and choices. Last but not least, you give you the opportunity. Has anybody traveled outside of the beautiful state of uh, Mississippi? Has anyone been outside of the country? All right, I see a few hands, not many though. As the Merchant Marine Academy, we will give you the opportunity to travel outside the country. All right, you're gonna to travel to 10 to 25 countries. We call it the Sea Year. So you're gonna get a chance to experience the world at 19, 20 years of age, where you'll be sailing aboard merchant ships. Even though you may wanna go become a Navy SEAL, or you wanna become an Army Ranger, or a Coast Guard helicopter, helicopter pilot, search and rescue, you can do all that through us. But remember, at one point in time, you're gonna be a merchant mariner, and that may be during your time. You may not decide to sail, you may wanna go active duty. So you're gonna sail the world, working on all different types of merchant ships, uh, cruise ships, tugboats, barges, military, sea of command ships, so forth, so on. 
all right, and you'll make $90 a month, either uh, being an engineer, uh, with the engineering crew and staff, or you'll be working in the bridge of the uh, ships uh, with the captain and the mates learning all the navigation. So we literally throw you to the wolves and get your hands-on experience. It's a wonderful education. It's a wonderful opportunity. We're located just outside of Manhattan, or 20 miles outside of the city, and our mates should get a chance. I'll show you some pictures of them in the city and abroad on uh, a little video there. So you have a great opportunity to have a great time. And uh, last year, for those of you who were here, um, uh, midshipman Lamarcus Walker, who just finished his first tea term. All right, uh, Mr. Guy knows him very, very well because he worked with his office in order to get to the academy. He went to the prep school first. Nonetheless, he's just getting back from his first sea term as a sophomore. So you have a wonderful opportunity. I wish you look at each and every service academy. All right, we're going to be over in the uh, ROTC building at the conclusion and give us some great consideration. Many of us already have applications, so you can start the application process right here and right now, and we are all here willing and, and able to help you finish through the application process. Okay, so that's the, that concludes the service academy portion.